I think it's quite clear that the young children do not aspire to be domestic partners. Uh, <laughs> for young people, and, and certainly for people later on, marriage is a desirable and respected type of goal that if you attain it, it's something that gives you pride and respect. Dr. Meyer, as one of the leading experts on stigma and discrimination, do you have an opinion as to whether domestic partnerships enjoy similar symbolic and social meaning. In my mind, Proposition 8, in its social meaning, sends a message that gay relationships are not to be respected, that they are of secondary value, if any value at all, that they are certainly not equal to those of heterosexuals. And, and to me, that's, in addition to not allowing gay people to marry, it also sends a strong message about the values of the state, and in this case, the Constitution itself. Are you aware? that same-sex marriage has been legal since 2004 in Massachusetts. Yes. Do LGB individuals suffer from a lower prevalence of mental health disorders in Massachusetts than in California? Uh, uh, well, well, well the, the first answer is, uh, I, I, I don't really know, but that's not how, um, I wouldn't expect it exactly in that way that you're suggesting that that would be the test of that, because Massachusetts is not, uh, an isolate of the United States. And certainly I, I, would, I would think that people in Massachusetts who are gay would feel more su supported and welcome, so to speak. But your answer is you don't know, correct? Well, well I, don't, I, I don't have data on that. You don't that. have data? No. Okay, right. okay. The LGB individuals suffer from a lower prevalence of mood, anxiety, and substance use problems in Massachusetts than in California. Again, uh, I, I don't know of a study that compared California to Massachusetts on any of those outcomes. Okay, okay, and I was planning to ask you about the other outcomes, but the answer would be the same, right? Right. No further questions, Your Honor.